my take on the Premio Malaparte, Carl Ove Nasgard, 2015, one out of one. So the Premio Malaparte is an Italian literary award that is awarded to a writer based on international writer. And so Carl Ove Nasgard is a fellow Norwegian nonfiction writer uh, who focuses on autobiographical writings. And so I'm Tannis Corley Wayne she, her, hers of Norway and United States of America. And we're going to talk through the Carl of, of a, this might not be how it's pronounced, but it's how I'm pronouncing it for this video. Nasgard, he and his of Norway. Uh, Premio Malaparte, year of award 2015. He won the Premio Malaparte when, at one of the prize 100% for his nonfiction writing, including forms such as autobiographical novels, essays, and photography. I provide my take slash perspective on his award and contextualize it in terms of my own nonfiction, autobiographical and biographical writing uh, style that also includes photography and videography. So this is like a match made in heaven, you know, kiss the Norwegian. Okay, um, he's hot too. He, he, he's only 55, you guys. I'm approximately 32 years of age. Okay. And he won some Swedish Academy Nordic Prize after this back in like 2019. So is he going to win the Nobel Prize in literature this year? It'd be cool. It'd be cool to have uh, somebody who works on autobiography slash and or biography, you know, run, revolutionizing the, uh, the uh, nonfiction world of writing and bringing some fiction writers, right? So since he's won this prize, there have actually been fiction writers in the United States of America that have been like, wait, 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 let me copycat this guy so I can win the Nobel Prize in Literature instead. <laughs> um, but they copycat this guy, right? And they started after 2015, re refocusing uh, after this guy won the prize. And so in terms of my own writing style, <laughs> I'm not comparing myself to this great man in terms of like, uh, we are the same. However, I will note he released, so it is kind of cool. So I brought out previously the biography box set in this guy, and where it's like, I'm gonna do like different people and like it's, it's a full box set. This guy did that with autobiographies. How cool is that? I think like this guy, but like he came before me, but how cool that that like okay so a lot of people are like but it's like you've been scooped from the past if you're thinking through something and you come up with an idea and somebody's in the come up like but but like but it means i think like that person right and i came up with it on my own doesn't mean i'm the first to come up with it but i still came up with it on my own all right so this is very cool it's like my little eyes go yeah he's rushing the hamster eyes are happy and he's eye candy this is a real person what if he sees this video i worship you and thank you for winning an italian prize because i'm part northern italian as well by ancestral origins this is like the happiest prize that has ever been awarded in all of literature it just makes me makes me want to cry but i'm not gonna cry hedgy says i'm crying that's that's right mr carl Hedgy loves you. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Mm. So, there we go. She says, thank you for representing us well. Yes, thank you for that. And in terms of my own writing style, I am not at his level, clearly, and I'm not writing novels. Uh, in much less a quartet of novels that are autobiographical. That's like, I c so for my own biograph biography box set, right, I'm looking at, I'm focusing on biographies. Uh, he took the autobiographical approach. I did actually, something I haven't brought up on this channel, I did actually try that one time. Not after I'd heard about this guys, but like I had written down, I was like, if I were to like write my life into like books as to like content wise, how many books would it take if I were to actually like break it down by year? You'd have like a summary autobiography. And I even came up with chapter names for everything or like not chapter names, but like I, I got really cheeky when I was coming up with it. And I did for my entire time, this was back in 2020, okay, um, it was during the COVID-19 pandemic, so don't judge me. Uh, I came up with, what was it? The, I was going to do one book to my time at UC, at the University of California, Berkeley, and I was going to call, name that book that covered those years, Death by Nag. Like N-A-G, like I, they just nagged me to death there. Um, I thought 
thought that was I thought that was cheeky. So interestingly enough, I have actually gone through a like a autobiographical like breaking it down into being more than more than one thing. Um, but he beat me to it. All right, this was this was a dec decade ago. Right, or when did he do some of his first autobiographical works? Back in like 1998. Is that or, no autobiographical? 2009 to 2011 was the first one. And then the set was like 2015 to 2016 or 2015 to 2018 or something like that. So, but then he also does essays in photography. And you guys know, if you've seen my writing online, my encyclopedia writing, I do nonfiction to the best of my ability. And I do photography as well. Yes, I'm not a, I'm not a text only person. I'm capable of taking pictures as well. And I even had at least one picture fe featured over in France. Um... And then I also do videography, and I, I, you guys, if you watch my channel, you're familiar with that, where I do autobiographical and biographical contextualizations. He might give me an F on his, this being biographical for him, um, but it's like my, my signature would be the, right, pe people are like, but Tannis might win the 2024 Nobel Prize in Literature for her A Page in the Life of breakthrough writing style of merging biography and autobiography to provide the autobiographical perspective to stabilize a biography. Some people consider that stuff revolutionary. Um, that's, that's a bit different than what he did though. All right, and that's more of a bio, biography focus than an autobiography focus, but I am capable of both. I do, and I do both, if none other than these contextualizations. But this is one of those ones where it takes into account what this, what this guy does and puts it in my life story. So it's a hybrid. It's an autobiography, biography solution. Is it revolutionary? Is it going to win a, a writing, a literature award? I would have to put out literature, wouldn't I? <laughs> Had you goes, but don't forget about me. It's a, it's a trifecta. It's a ternary diagram. It's part Carl of a Oscar, part Tannis Corley Leonardi, and part Hedgy the Hedgehog. If you don't know what a ternary diagram is, I'm talking about the ternary diagrams from uh, Petrology and Geology. There we go. That is my take on the Premio Malaparte Carl Ove Nosgaard 2015 one out of one.